Oh shit. I'm too fat. These seats can't hold me. <laughs> oh no! Oh crap. Okay. Don't know how I how I survived that, but okay. Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Finally, we're going to be starting that. It took some time to complete the first guy, the first game. Hopefully this is not going to take as long. I need to turn down the volume a bit. This is pretty, pretty high up. Alright, so um, let's quickly check on... We want to get subtitles, photo mode in it. Nah, we don't need that right now. Uh, do 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 language. I don't know if that's okay. Let's put in English. That's good. Good good. I think that's all good. All right. So uh, I guess all is this. Let's just let's just start it, man. God damn it. Oh, I'm really excited because it's been a really long time since I've been playing the second game. So there's probably gonna be areas where I've I've just completely forgotten about how the the the, the game was. Um, I have been beating the game like several times. I don't think I went for the, uh, what's it called, um, for the Platinum Trophy in this one, which I'm, I'm definitely going to try this time. Um, oh yeah, by the way, just quickly ch to show you guys, look at this. Look at that. Uncharted Drake's Fortune, 80%. I haven't beaten these, but there is this one. Platinum Trophy, I'm really close to it. The only thing that I'm missing is this trophy. The crushing mode. I still need to beat the game on crushing. I'm really close. I'm actually halfway through the game. And then I will be able to crush the game and get the uh, the platinum trophy, which I never never got on the original game. So I'm really happy about that. Of course, there's also the extended collection, which has some extra things, which I'm probably also going to try and, and, and go for just to uh, to get the 100% uh, uh, ratio. Um, but yep, never mind, let's just jump back in. That was kind of an off track. But um, let's start. Alright, so we're gonna go... Options, I guess it's just the exact same as before. So let's just start a new game. And of course, we're gonna play in campaign. In case you didn't know, all the new... Uh, or in the Nathan Drake collection, all the Uncharted games has uh, like gotten a continuous speedrun mode. Where you can try and, get, uh, and, and play through the game as fast as possible. Sort of just to... Just tell people that oh you should try and get into speedruns. It's a pretty nice thing. I tried it with the first game, didn't really get a, that good of a score. I only like took a few individual, uh, what's it called, um, uh, chapters because there was some trophy related with that, and uh, I managed to get them. But um, yeah, it's pretty tough. I think one of the trophies is like complete the game within two hours or something like that, which is crazy. Um, so uh, I don't know. Should I go? You know, I'm gonna go with normal. Since this is a let's play, I want to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. So, let's start up a new game data. Alright, there we go. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo! On his deathbed. 1324. The famous intro. What's going on? That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. situation he just got into um the, the fun part is oh chapter one i rock in a hard place the funny part is that this this scene has um apparently from what i've heard it might be something that i'm just making up but it's just something i'm i think i've heard that this scene uh 
has actually won some prizes for being so, what do you call it, um, original. And it's definitely really original. I don't think you see, oh shit. Dude, take it easy, man. I just want to get up. Thank you. But yeah, think about it. I don't think there's any games out there that has ever created a, a scene or a chapter or a part of the game where you have to climb up a vertical, uh, what's it called, a train that's about to fall down from very high up. Oh shit. Also, by the way, this time we're finally gonna get this in, in actual 60 frames per second. So that's nice. I will hope you you guys will enjoy that. Oh, oh crap! Oh. There we go. Oh shit. I'm too fat. These seats can't hold me. <laughs> oh no! Oh crap. Okay. Don't know how I how I survived that, but okay. Bam. Oh shit! Alright, so where do we have to go? Oh this way, okay. Oh we can continue with the pipe, okay. I've always liked these sort of um, climbing scenes. I, re I really like how Naughty Dog has has made it. It's always made it. it's always interesting. Oh. Let's get up that. Oh shit. Okay, 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 take it easy, man. Let's go. Oh, we definitely need to run. Great, come on, get on your feet. Jump! Oh, shit. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. All right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. 
but there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. Mm -hmm. In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters, shelters the, fate the fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> mm, yeah. And of course, the flashback to the snow scene. Yes. <laughs> yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Oh shit. Oh, weapon. Nice. The first weapon of the game. I wonder if the same or if the controls are the same as the first one. I think it is, yeah. The damn. Yeah. What was that? Oh! Treasure! Nice! I found the first treasure. See, that's very nice. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try and do the treasure hunting, but I'm gonna do that afterwards. After I'm I'm done beating the game. And I'll play through the, the whole thing again. And of course also in crushing. Which I'm probably guessing that's another requirement for a uh, platinum trophy. Alright, so we're getting a lot of ammo, so I'm expecting probably. Oh, I see. Sorry, sort of like the same as the first game. I'm gonna make sure to shoot that up. Alright. Nice. Alright, I'm sorry if you can hear something uh, noisy in the background. That's my PS4. I don't know, for some reason it's going crazy right now. It can't handle this. It's too much. <laughs> oh! Karma's a bitch. So apparently the... Uh, the gun sound sounds different. Don't think I really noticed that before. Don't have to go that way. Okay, this way. I wonder how, what, like, what goes through Nathan's, like, of course I'm controlling him, but think about it, like, how would you know that you could go up here and then move on? Oh, jump. There we go. Uh, what was it? Oh! Are we gonna jump up? Of course. Once again, another one. Oh, I see a hole up there. Let me try and climb up there. Finally. We're gonna get a good. Oh, shit. Crap. Uh. 
Flashback time again. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured <laughs> out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. All right, wakey, wakey time. Let's get moving. Let's see how bad it is. Oh, shit. I really, I really want me to jump. Not prepared for that one. At least that more climbing. Oh, it's shooting part now, I think. Maybe. It's time for the heist, I think. You sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. If they switch the patrols, figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? 
That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Right. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. 